All right, all right. So what is it? What's the most selfish thing you could do? Hmm? Cheating, close, not quite. Leaving, warmer, still cold. No one? Come on, it's dying. That was dramatic. No, but seriously, dying is the asshole's wet dream. Both selfish and lazy. The ultimate one-two. <laughs> Take the funeral. It's a party you force people to go to just to see that you've already Irish exited. Class A asshole move. Cleaning out the dead's old stuff. Actually, that's a life hack. Because if you don't want to clean your room, just kill yourself. <laughs> want to win in a breakup? Kill yourself. Feel like taking an extra long nap? Kill yourself. Don't want to take care of your kids? What? You gotta do it, Julie. It's non-negotiable. Your haircut? Yeah, like six months now. Thank you. Thank you. Butch, I don't know like half of these people. Great to Come see you. Come on, too. I'm not pushing you to say anything, but at least meet me halfway. Be there and stand with me. That means a lot. Oh no. Grow up and be serious for once. For dad. Julie. Stop joking, Julie. Be nice. Get the cheese out, Julie. Actually, I don't get that. Why would anyone want to smell like they're dying? I mean, cheese is bad for... <gasps> Sorry, what was I saying? Julie, Julie, Julie. You must be in so much pain and suffering. Being an orphan and all. You know, she's adopted. <laughs> oh, but you knew that, right? <laughs> uh, well, she's not the only one. <laughs> her brother. Her brother. <laughs> He's such a fine specimen. So much potential from the start. But your father didn't know when to stop. Actually. Oh, oh my God. It must be the artist in him. <laughs> must have seen something in Butch. <laughs> but you... <laughs> must have been just... some reason to stop. <laughs> you got a... a, a red something on your cheek right, right there. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, little Julie, how are you holding up? Uh, fine. I was just looking for some cheese. I got you. Being here at his funeral without him doesn't feel right. My dearest neighbor is gone, and it's just so empty now. I don't know what to do, you know? Yeah, it's a day at a time sort of thing. Hey, have you seen my guy? He was so generous, always giving. I'd wait for him to come uh, to open our mailboxes together, smiling, uh, just like that. <laughs> now, who's gonna give me his coupons? Who's gonna give me that? Hey, who? Little Julie, who? Minutes come on. Taxi. Taxi. Oh shit. Where are you going? Uh, the roof. Nah. Y'all want a hug? I I feel you need a hug. Actually, we were we were just going for the roof. 
I could come. No. no. I mean, oh, yeah. it's cold out. You could try that guy, though. Hey, do you use your coupons? Oh, oh, oh. This is nice. Out for lost causes? I mean, can you believe she said that? That bitch. We don't have time for this. Just take your drag and let's go. And to my face. You know, I really should have stabbed her. Sure, maybe. Let's just go now. They're waiting on the eulogy. Ugh, calm down. No one's going to leave out their still free boots. Butch. Julie, please. I'm trying day, to make but this you need easy. To calm down. Stop saying that. You know? I swear to God, if you're about to say calm down one more time. You're being really dramatic. Like, I'm here. What more do you want from me? Are you, me? though? Because last I checked, you left me standing there alone, and I had to track you down while you were getting your lift. No, I wasn't. You know what? So what? I don't understand why I need to go and talk to those people. I don't know them. I certainly don't care about them. So if I want to leave, I don't need your permission, because you're not dad. Butch, I get it. He's gone, and you're upset. I'm upset? You think I'm upset? It's been a week, Julie, and you make jokes. He took me in. He raised us. And it does nothing to you. I... I still talk to him like he's around. Like... I'm gonna see him again soon, but... I know he's never coming back. It was all I had, and now I'm all alone. Of all people, you should know what it feels like. Yeah, but I thought you the were. Truth is, I kind of hoped, even if we were never that close, that this it would change that. But you're right. I can't force you to. So don't worry. You go, I'll stay. I'll manage. He always liked bringing us up here. father was more <laughs> our father was more than the one that Our father is gone, but despite the sadness, he'd want for us to enjoy the good times. The ones around the table, the ones under his roof, together as a family, whole. <laughs> uh, so no, dying isn't the most selfish thing you can do, but Guilt tripping your little sister into giving a speech at your dad's funeral is. <laughs> uh, this was a first for me, and y'all survived, so thank you.